America, a land of wide open spaces, towering mountains, sparkling rivers, but who owns these lands? The US government plays a big role. The federal government owns and manages a significant portion of America's landmass. It serves many purposes. It provides resources. It protects ecosystems. It offers recreational opportunities for all Americans. Multiple federal agencies are involved. Balancing these interests is a constant challenge. The executive branch plays a key role their decisions impact how these lands are used. Many agencies share the responsibility of managing America's public lands. Each plays a unique and vital role. Let's meet some key players. The Department of the Interior, or DOI, houses agencies like the Bureau of Land Management. The BLM manages over 245 million acres. The DOI also oversees the National Park Service. The Department of Agriculture, or USDA, is home to the U.S. Forest Service. This agency manages 193 million acres of national forests and grasslands. The Department of Defense, or DOD, manages lands for military training. Lastly, the General Services Administration, or GSA, manages federal properties. Managing public lands isn't solely an executive branch affair. Congress plays a crucial role. It holds the power of the purse. It sets budgets and allocates funds for land management agencies. Congress also enacts laws. These laws govern how public lands can be used. The judicial branch also weighs in. Courts resolve legal disputes over land use. They interpret environmental laws and they ensure that agencies comply with those laws. Through lawsuits and rulings, courts shape the landscape of public land management. Public participation is also vital. Citizens can voice their concerns at public hearings. They can submit comments on proposed regulations and they can hold their elected officials accountable for their decisions. Public lands belong to all Americans. Citizen engagement ensures these lands are managed in the best interest of all. America's public lands are incredibly diverse. They encompass a wide range of ecosystems and uses. National parks are crown jewels. These are places of stunning natural beauty. Think of the Grand Canyon's vastness. Imagine the tranquility of Yosemite's meadows. These parks protect unique ecosystems. They provide recreational opportunities for millions. National forests and grasslands cover vast areas. They provide timber for construction. They offer grazing land for livestock. They are also vital for recreation. Hiking, camping and fishing are popular activities. Military lands serve a different purpose. These are places for training soldiers. They test new weapons systems. These lands are crucial for national security. Then there are federal buildings. These buildings house government agencies. They serve the public. They include courthouses, office buildings and research facilities. Assigning a monetary value to public lands is complex. These lands possess ecological, cultural and recreational value. These values are difficult to quantify. However, we can get a sense of their economic significance. The BLM manages lands rich in natural resources. These include oil, gas and minerals. These resources generate billions of dollars in revenue. The NPS manages lands that attract millions of visitors each year. Tourists spend money on lodging, food and souvenirs. This tourism generates economic activity and supports local communities. The US Forest Service manages timber sales. These sales contribute to the economy and support jobs in the timber industry. The Forest Service also manages grazing permits for livestock. Military lands, while not generating direct revenue, are crucial for national security. A strong national defense is essential for economic stability. The value of public lands extends far beyond dollars and cents. These lands provide essential ecosystem services. They purify air and water. They regulate climate, they provide habitat for wildlife. These services are essential for human well-being. Public lands also hold cultural and historical significance. They protect archaeological sites, they preserve the stories of indigenous peoples, they connect us to our nation's past. These lands are integral to our national identity. Furthermore, public lands provide opportunities for recreation and enjoyment. They offer a respite from the hustle and bustle of city life. They allow us to connect with nature. They promote physical and mental well-being. In an era of climate change, public lands play a critical role in carbon sequestration. 
Forests and grasslands absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. They help mitigate the impacts of climate change. America's public lands are a national treasure. They are a legacy passed down from previous generations, a gift we hold in trust for future generations. Managing these lands is a balancing act, balancing conservation with development, recreation with preservation, ensuring they remain vibrant for generations. We must use them wisely, protect them from degradation, ensure equitable access for all, make decisions benefiting present and future generations. The future depends on our choices today. Let us protect this precious heritage. Ensure America's public lands inspire and sustain us for generations.